The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. The Domino's post-game report. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, congrats on the 14-point comeback. Has to make you feel good rallying from down 14 at the half. Yeah, it does. You know, uh, that halftime, that, 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 that was, uh, in my estimation, I told those guys at half, that's the worst half of basketball I've seen since I've been the head coach here. And that was not going to be tolerated on any level. We more or less just challenged them to, uh, to have some pride. Uh, have some pride. Don't, don't get deflated uh, against a hot team. They were very, very hot the first half. Don't get deflated. Don't get deflated when uh, the odds are stacked against us. Let's have poise to handle the adversity and continue to fight. And I thought we came back, and by the first immediate timeout, the entire, the entire uh, momentum had shifted. Go on a 22-8 to run to start the second half. Tie the game in the first you know, five, six minutes of the second half. Uh, what would you do to shift momentum in your favor? Uh, well, I mean, you know, it, it, we're, we're dealing with 18 to 22-year-old guys, okay? Uh, and so a lot of times, you know, we're, we're constantly trying to teach them how they've got to generate their own energy. And, and, and again, they've got to have the poise to handle rough spots. Uh, you know, when a team shoots 10 or 13 from you, and we're, we're, a, we're sort of an, a new kind of an experienced team, especially what we do defensively, I think, I think it rattled their cage a little bit. I think there might have been some doubting even a little bit. And, and then, of course, they've got the seven-footer inside, and we can't. We were having trouble getting shots off at the rim. And, and then, our, you know, so I, th I think uh, several things occurred that, that sort of set, set them mainly back. But, you know, 18 to 20 year old kids, uh, I've come to find over the last two-plus decades, are pretty resilient. And uh, I just told them, look, man, go out there and play. Quit, 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 quit making excuses to yourself in your mind. Go out there, let it go, and let's just play and, 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 and let the chips fall where they may. And, and thankfully, they, they responded to that. You get a career-high 15 points from Andy Barnett. He drains five of ten threes. What about the job from your sophomore out of Pigeon Forge to give you a spark, especially in the second half? No, we needed it, you know. Uh, as you could see, I mean, that, 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 the big seven-footer for them, he, he's, he's, uh, he's scary. To know that he's going to be here for another four <laughs> years makes it even scarier. I mean, Carson Brooks is a pretty, a pretty good athlete and uh, saw against these kids, and, and we, we could not get a shot off. Uh, and so, like, if you're if – you're, if you can't make the long ball and you can't make it at the basket, then you've got to start sort of thinking outside the box. And I, I just told them, I said, fellas, you know, I told them before the game, hey, we've got to shoot something with confidence, don't hesitate. But you could sort of see there was some hesitancy there in the first half, where the second half, I just I felt like they relaxed a little bit more and just let it fly. We really came out, Mason and Charles, or, or Mason and Andy both sort of came out of the gate just <coughs> pulling it. Uh, and, and, and that's what we needed to sort of relax maybe the pressure, the tension. On the flip side of it, Jared Johnson, 19 points and – uh, he has Ish Sanders-like numbers from beyond the arc. Five of ten, yeah. your senior shoots it. Uh, again, goes back to uh, just pull the string on the three. Right. Well, I mean, you know, Jared and I are, are very close. We spend a lot of time together. We spend a lot of time together talking today, uh, and, 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 and I know what it means to him. He cares as much as anybody on our team. Uh, he, he's invested a lot of time. And so for him to step up and have the kind of night he had, that, that's not surprising. I, I mean, that, that's what he's, he's going to continue to do that. Uh, but in a game like this where, where, where it was a must kind of thing from the senior – he, he, he does it, and, you know, he's invested, he cares, and, uh, and kudos to him. And we, we, we don't do this without him. There's so many guys played a factor in this. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't really just point out one guy, but I thought his leadership and his, uh, you know, just his sort of um, knowledge and know-how were critical going down the stretch. You, bring, you brought up the fact that Lenore Ryan had the hot hand from beyond the arc in the first half. Yes, the Bears did hit 10 of 13, but in the second half you clamped down on that. 3 of 12 from beyond the arc. What did you do to – halt their three-point proficiency uh you know i thought they got a little they got a little happy and uh and we got a little sad some same time which is a terrible combination uh the second half we, we said look fudge you, you got to extend out and get to these guys you know we got to get out there and, and make them uncomfortable and uh and i thought our guys did a good job with that and <coughs> you know they're much like us you know yeah. if you really if you really look at it yeah you have two teams two youngest teams yeah. in the south atlantic conference uh quite arguably two of the youngest in the southeast region yes areas. And if you look at it, they had a stellar first half, and we looked like a bunch of dead bones. And the second half, it completely flipped. The script flipped. Now, now we looked like we were the ones that had something, and they looked a little flat. So, you know, I was talking to Coach Lance for the game, who I respect immensely, and you know, he just made the comment. He said, you know, we, we can't put 40 minutes together. And I said, well, you know, we're going through the same thing. I said, the, the, the thing for one of us, one of us is going to put a good 20 minutes together on the back end. It just happened to be us. One final thing, Will Perry came into this game as the second leading scorer in the South Atlantic Conference, averaging 20 points. 
you hold him to eight points. He only shoots six times. What did you do to lock him down? We made a big deal on the scout. Big deal on the scout. Big deal on the preparation about him and, and want to make sure that we kept him at bay uh, and, and try to force other guys to step up. Now, some other guys did step up. And, and if you look at it, man, the three kids that stepped up for them, all freshmen. Yeah. Uh, Wilson, uh, Justice, Morgan, and, and Reed Lucas, those guys uh, really sort of carried the water for them. Uh, you know, I, Perry and Rob Noyes in particular are the two vet guys. And, and, and you know, they bring 13 points and six boards. So, I mean, we were really – we were happy with that because those guys, I think, are both potential all league guys. Um, but, but you know, uh, thankfully we were able to, to, to make it hard on, on Perry in particular. Chuck, pleasure as always. Congrats on the win. Thank you. I do have a, I have a request for you. Uh, what, what's this? Uh, you know, we've talked about the music. We've talked about the music. Yeah. I, yeah. I would like to be, I would, I would like you, her to you be, be serenaded, serenaded when you post come game, out. Uh, as you always have done. You, you know whose fault that is tonight? And we're going to kick him under the bus just because I feel like it. He, he turned 23 a, a while ago, oh, but okay. obviously those uh, 23 years, not enough for Matthias Osblarto. Uh, maybe your 24, he'll figure out that uh, you got to leave the music on post game. Yeah, yeah. We sort of shut the music down. The, the house lights come what, up, and everybody, everybody what, vacates. What, what, what do you want playing when you it, come it, out it, here? It, it, uh, your choice, uh, uh, your choice, DJ's okay. choice. Uh, <laughs> but I, I just, I, I want to have a, a celebratory look. This thing could be few and far between. We need to have all the celebratory <laughs> moments we can have and re really capitalize on those when we get them. Well, we'll make sure uh, that Matthew Osburnt uh, is playing some music next time that you walk out. We'll even make it like a WWE entrance. We'll shoot off some fireworks when you come uh, out of the doors. Uh, yes, uh, little sparkles pyro, sparkles. Uh, no, we're not talking sparklers. We're talking <laughs> projectile <laughs> fireworks that okay. kind of ricochet around the roof of Holt Fieldhouse. We'll do that for you. That's lovely. Uh, probably blast some of your favorite hip-hop, which I know you love so much. Perfect. Chuck, thanks for the You're time. You're the best, Kev. No. <laughs> that is Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. We roll on.